You too. What's up, baby? It's your boy DMD. Back with another video. Back with another bang, and we back with another first early look at these Jordan mains, these Jordan ones, man. That I know is is something that y'all looking forward to, man. So I'm about to give you that first look at these bad boys. But be first. But be first. <laughs> but before I give you that first look. Let's talk about these NBA Finals, man. The Rockets, man. We almost had it. We almost had it, man. If we would've had CP3, we would've definitely won. I feel like we would've definitely won. Shit, hell, if we would've had hit half of our three-pointers, we would've won the damn game. We only lost by nine. The Rockets only lost by nine. And we were, at one point, we were 0 for 27 from three-pointers. We missed 27 consecutive threes. Really, Houston? Something didn't register in your head and been like, you know what? We're all from threes. Let's drive to the paint. Let's get some easy baskets. Let's get to the free throw line. Oh, no. Nah. Forget that. Let's jack up 27 missed three pointers. What the fuck? See, that's why I don't trust James Harden, bro. James Harden is not a, a player that you can build around and win a championship. Yeah, you may have a good... Uh, um, regular season record you may win some games but when it comes time to, to to actually playing smart basketball you're not gonna win with James Harden James Harden is a dumb great basketball player like he's not why do you have to dribble so goddamn much and step back and shoot a thousand three-pointers he plays no defense like he's a great player he's gonna win the MVP I'm not taking nothing away from James Harden but he's just you you can't rely on him when it's crunch time. Like there's there's a proven track record with James Harden, man. But he's a great player. But that's the reason why we got Chris Paul because Chris Paul he he's a leader. He knows how to lead the team. He knows how to orchestrate the team. He knows how to lead by example, lead by the voice, and everything. And Chris Paul was definitely missed. If we would have had him, we would have won. But hey, man, it is what it is. You know, I told you I like the Warriors and I like the Rockets, so it was a win-win situation for me. And I'm definitely happy that uh, LeBron James won and he's going to the finals again so he can lose once again. So now he'll be three and six on that ass. So, hey, I'm happy that LeBum, LeQueen, LeBrick, LaBella James made it to the finals. And y'all can be happy all you want to. Oh, he made it at eight championships in a row. Yeah, and he lost five of them. He lost six of them in a row as well. So, <laughs> add that to your goat. You ain't no the goat fucking roach. That's what the fuck he is. But anyway, yeah, man. I'm about to give y'all this first look at these bad boys, these Jordan ones, man. So, let's take it to the mall. And, um, yeah. Oh, Golden State is going to sweep that ass. Golden State is going to sweep that ass. It may be in four games or it may be a gentleman sweep in five games. They may, the Cavs may look up and win one game, but... It's over. It's over. No chance in hell. LeBron's gonna be three and six. Then what y'all gonna say? Anyway, let's check out these shoes. Yes, sir, baby. It's time for that first look, man. Time for that first look. So some of y'all probably know what this is. Some of y'all probably don't. I know a couple of YouTubers already got their pairs in early because they did a surprise uh, stock on these. They just released them out of nowhere. So I don't know if that's the official release or are they going to re-release these are they going to restock these i have no idea but they actually re reserved these twice like they just did a random release and then they also did a reservation on the sneaker app too so we had two chances to get them so i'm i'm highly doubting if they're going to re-release these but if they do i mean just 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 keep your phone on alert because ain't no telling man jordan brand and, and nike and the sneaker app is just is just throwing shoes out there just out the willy-nilly so this is the box let's open this bad boy up and as you see these are the off whites baby the off whites give y'all that detailed review uh let's see what it says right here I don't know if the camera gonna pick that up, but it says the off-white Jordan, Nike, Jordan 1, blah, 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 the Oregon, USA, which is dope, which is dope. So it has kind of this clear packaging looking like a goddamn Meath 
fatty meat patty or <laughs> packaging that you go to the store and you get your meat all wrapped up and shit in, the, in that goddamn paper so enough of that shit so check it out you got the clear box on deck it's up for grabs hey these are up for grabs i, I just got I just got word from the homie, if you wear a size 6 in men's and a size 7.5 in women's, these are up for grabs. So I will leave his information down below if you want to buy these from him. These are 100% legit, too legit to quit. You ain't got to worry about that. He got them from the restock and as you see, like I said, if y'all want them, it's up for grabs. Size 6, I don't know the price, just uh, hit him up. I'll leave his Instagram and his uh, YouTube down below so if you want them. Uh, get them they retail at 190 so y'all know what it is check out the white paper on deck as you see nice little dope little uh, 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 different packaging they got but here they go man the off whites the off white on your bitch <laughs> and this is my first time ever seeing the off white in person in hand normally I just see them on pictures like on videos and in person these are not bad, man. These these are not bad. So I'm gonna try to. Y'all know I'm not the most detail, uh, uh, knowledgeable person when it comes to shoes, but we just gonna. I'm gonna do my best as I can with this goddamn review. All right, so we got this uh, shit right here. <laughs> this like kind of a foam distress looking top up here, which is looks like it's already yellowing, but I'm guessing that's how they supposed to look. Because they supposed to look, you know, used or distressed and ripped up and shit. So that's his, you know, Virgil uh, uh, taste when it comes to these off-whites. You know, he like that kind of a used, beat up, new look. You know what I mean? So check out right here. Boom. They got that same, that foam kind of a ripped effect on the top of the tongue. You see the Nike Air in the orange on the side of it. Normally it's right here in the front. But it's swinging and banging, dripped out and draped out on the right hand side. We got this little blue, little baby blue stitching right here. Check out the tongue on them bitches. These come unlaced, how they supposed to come. So make sure you ain't got no poopity scoops. If your shit come already laced, you got the poopity scoops, man. So we got that off white tag on here, as you normally get on off whites. And the toe box is like a mesh I could say like this is like a mesh type of material definitely definitely different like everything about this shoe is just it's just different from your normal uh, Jordan ones as far as the stitching the materials and everything so let me just give y'all a close-up look at these bad boys check out the tag right here this is how the tag supposed to look make sure your shit ain't scoopity poop all right make sure your shit ain't scoopity poop check out the air uh, Jordan wing logo right there we got the preferable holes right here check them out they just holy moly donut shop type shit you know what I mean and we got the uh, like looking at the camera this looks more yellow but it's not really yellow it's like a it looks kind of brownish in the camera but in person it doesn't look like that it's like a I don't know it's like just like a dull white but in camera it looks rusty as shit <laughs> but it's not like when you see this in person this does not look like the color that you're looking at through the camera lens and uh, check out the air right here which is dope check out the back we got the white strip on the side we got the off-white Nike Air Jordan 1's yada yada bing bing 1985 as you see check out the bottom UNC Carolina blue bottoms on deck. So I mean shit. That's 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 pretty much it. That anything I can think of. Check out the inside. We got the Nike Air on the inside, as you see right here. And like you said, man, these are up for grabs, but these are nice, man. These are nice. Man, hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. Anybody that got this shoe, <laughs> I would say resell them, bro. I would like if if I would have won my size on my pair i would have resold them and kept that money because i mean well what a what the prices are going down on these but i do feel like the prices will rise back up on this shoe maybe in a few more months or maybe in a year or two i think the prices will raise back up but i mean you know it's all right you know it's not bad it's just probably something i wouldn't actually wear 
You know what I mean? Like, if I was to get this, I would have resold it in the quickness. Because, I don't know, it's just, it's dope. But it's just something that I don't think I would actually wear and rock and put it on feet. You know what I mean? But, uh, hey, man, if you like it, I love it. It's a dope concept. I think the Chicago ones are the best uh, off-white ones. But these are dope, man. This is a, a close second. I would say the Chicago's is first. Um, these are second and the all whites or the last one, but uh, yeah, man, there you go. And we got the little orange little sticker wrapping bandage looking thing right there. And uh, shit, that's about it, man. So leave a comment down below. Let me know if you was able to cop these when they just surprisingly released. And then, like I said, there was another release, uh, a, a reserve on this sneaker app as well. And I took both L's on these hoes so uh yeah there they go man and like i said these are up for grabs so i will leave his information down below this is a size nine no size seven and a half in women's size six in men so these are up for grabs i hope y'all enjoyed this first look oh hold on it, it also comes with some extra laces that says shoe laces <laughs> These are the baby blue ones. And they come with the original white laces. Let me see if they, oh, and they also come with some orange laces too. So they do come with two extra pairs of laces. So everything is too legit to quit. You ain't gotta worry. This is official tissue. No poopy the scoops over here. So leave that comment down below, man. Let me know where y'all able to get them. Do you actually like them? Um, let me know if you actually want them. Do you plan on actually wearing them? Or do you what do you plan on selling them? Cause I ain't gonna lie, if I would have won these, I would have sold these holes in the quickness. You know what I mean? And got something else. But hey, man, if you like it, I love it. Make sure y'all leave that comment down below. Uh, and all that good shit, man. It's your boy DMD signing out. Peace.